telling them, like, Lord, take this out of you. Take these things out of you. You know, you know how we got those prayers. Well, it's not like you. Take it away from me. You know what I mean? We got them prayers. Y'all stop praying. Y'all, I mean, y'all want prayers too. And we just get real humble and real hard and real open and we're ready to surrender. We're like, Lord, whatever it is that's not like you, take it out of me. Take it from me. And I was praying this prayer last week, that same prayer, like, Lord, take it out of me. And God took He simply said, well, stop putting it in you. I was like, oh. <laughs> the content, the thing you expose yourself to is putting back in the thing I'm taking away. Patterns. Patterns perpetuate problems, people. <laughs> Patterns. I said, God, take this thing away. He said, Ty, I keep taking it away. You keep putting it back in through the music, through the social media, through the conversation, through the text messages, through you keep putting back in what I what you what you asked me to take out. So we're on this roller coaster, we're on we're in this tennis match, we're on this back and forth because of a pattern you refuse to break in your life. Don't put it in. Whatever you don't want, don't put it in. Or I was telling them like Wow. That's something that the wife sent me uh, a couple days ago, and you know I definitely got a few things that I gotta stop. I held a whole list at that, but it got me to thinking. You know I've been praying for some things to be removed, to stop engaging in, to get away from. But I noticed that's when I get the most phone calls, or that's when I see it online more, and it's almost like a pulling. You know, very thing that I want to get away from, stop talking about, stop looking at, or whatever the case may be. And I had to really, like, really check in and be real with myself. You praying for it, but you're doing the very thing, as he said in the video, that's bringing the shit right back in. So I noticed I got a couple people, you know, like, man, you done fell off. I ain't heard from you. It's not personal. I'm trying to change some shit. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be better in some areas and you know, you comfortable where you at. And you comfortable with the things that I'm uncomfortable with, so I have to remove myself. You comfortable with talking about it and looking at or being around certain shit that I'm not. And I'm in a space of my life where what I want God to answer, it ain't gonna happen until I remove certain shit. And it's a lot of things that I'm working on. It's a work in progress and I've realized some people will keep you right where you at because they comfortable and they comfortable with your ass being there with them. The whole saying misery love company, I know a lot of people, they're not miserable, but their actions are, what their, their expectations are, and that ain't me. That ain't me at all. So I, I, I've learned shit that don't work for me, I'm a subscriber. People that don't work for me, I'm unsubscribing. Oh, man, you funny. You right, I am funny as hell. Because uh, this shit you doing silly as hell, and I, I, I ain't for it. So I hope that y'all got something from what that man said. I think his name is Ty Trivet. Uh, the very thing that you're praying for, who is around you that's put, pouring that shit back in? What are you looking at that's pouring it back in? What are you reading, listening to, uh, around, just, you know... Look at everything. And the very thing that you're trying to run from, if anything or anybody is pushing it back, you need to reevaluate. Don't give a damn if you love them. Don't give a damn if they're your best friend. Don't give a damn if they pushed you out, helped you through college, whatever the case may be. At the end of the day, everybody has a role to play. You better figure out who you allowing to play a role in your life. We all got a book. Everybody has a role to play as a character. What are they roles in your life? That's how. I'm, that's what I'm doing now at 32 years old. I'll be 33 this year in September, September the 7th. And I'm reevaluating a lot of shit. What role do you play in my life? How, how are you helping me grow? I've gotten in a space in my life now where I've started to pull back from a lot of people. Not because I don't like them. Not because I don't love them. I'm watching your moves. I'm watching how you handle me. I'm watching how you have handled me. I told my wife, this is what I do. 
I said, she was like, man, baby, you, you ain't gonna never have, you know, nobody if you, you, you had that mindset. I said, no, I'm very, very cautious with who I have around me. I'm very cautious with who's saying they praying for me. Who's saying they are for me. No. Judas was supposed to be for Jesus and a few other people. I remember when I read and it says that he fed 5,000 people. But the shit that got me tripping, what the fuck was them 5,000 people when his ass was getting beat? What the hell was them 5,000 people when he got up on that cross? So everybody that's, that's, that, that's rocking with you, be careful. They rocking with you for what you're doing. They rocking with you for what you could do for them. You notice the people, they support a motherfucker that they can't even get close to versus the motherfucker that's on the way to get to just like that person. They ain't support them. But that's just that's just the way the market is. But like I told her, my wife, I said, what people have done, that's why our relationship has gotten this far. What they do now, it determines how far we go. And I'm, I'm, I've, I've always been cautious. I had a fella tell me, oh man, and you ain't, Man, you, you, you ain't got to be like that. Shit, like hell I don't. Like hell I don't. Because I notice when them pockets wasn't right, people treat you different. But then when your bank account change, what you able to do for yourself and possibly them change, so do they. So I've learned now, you going to have to show me what time it is. If you ain't A1 from day one, stay the fuck away from me. And that's just how I feel because... I'm not with the fake shit. And I don't need anybody pushing me in a space that I don't want to be in, that I don't need to be in. We got enough temptations out here. I got a, I got a couple guys I know, you know, I wouldn't say we're friends, but associates. You know, some of them got divorces. Some of them, you know, cut out on their wives. You know, I, I had to stop pulling back. Because after we talk about football, you talk about, uh, you talk about the hoes. You talk about the strip clubs you're going to. After we get done talking about boxing, you talk about, you know, how you went over here, you had her, you did this. No. No. Just like where you said in that video, the very thing that you don't need to be around, don't need to hear, don't need to be doing, you have to unsubscribe from it. So all them fellas, it ain't that I ain't fucking with you because you ain't cool. I'm not fucking with you because if I don't stop not fucking with you, I'm going to fuck up where I'm going. There's a standard that I have, and there's some things that I've been praying to God for. He not finna open them damn doors and I'm bullshit. He not finna open them doors and I'm and I'm out of order. If I'm out of alignment, it's a wrap. And I can't handle that. I, I, I didn't work too hard. I, I didn't pray hard for some shit, and I ain't missing my blessing. For what? To say I'm a part of the clique and the group? Shit, the hell with that. I'm going to be 33 years old. That, that that day is over. That was high school. It's all for the young men out there that's growing up. Get away from the dumb shit, fellas. Learn and be wise early. Grind. Get your money. Do what you're supposed to do. Because if not, you're going to upset what God got for you. There's blessings out here for you. You're going to fuck it up being around the wrong people. Subscribing to the wrong shit. And not doing what you're supposed to be doing. Everything that you ever wanted in life, God can make happen. He can bring it to pass. But you can fuck it up. Being around the wrong people. Listening to the wrong thing. Be careful who you're listening to. Your ear don't need to be to near everybody's mouth. If power is in the tongue, everybody ain't speaking well. Everybody not speaking prosperous. and Everybody not subscribed to God. So I'll be damned if I'm going to let you put your mouth on me in any type of way. Uh-uh. No. Be careful. Stay wise. Stay uplifted. And guess what? At the end of the day, a seed can be planted, but your ass got to nurture it. Don't nurture it. It's, it's been plenty of things said against me, and I now want to unprosper. The weapon formed against me should prosper, and that's real. I didn't understand that scripture until I got older, but I understand it very well now. It's a lot of people that thought that I shouldn't be where I'm at, that I shouldn't have what I have, but God thought otherwise. 
So for that reason alone, I'm staying solid on that. Y'all be good.